Hey, I'm Mark, and today I'm going to show you my hydro generator. It's a homemade one I made. Uh, it's 22 inches in diameter. It's 28 magnets spinning around 28 coils of number 15 wire. It, um, I built it large so that it spins slow. I wanted to have a direct drive system and not have to have pulleys and transmissions to gear it up. So basically you can use the same generator on a windmill and other applications as well. I've sold quite a few of these to people that use them all different ways. This one you can see I've got it bolted. It goes into a two inch pipe down to the propeller at the bottom. This isn't the most efficient system, but it's very low maintenance. This system is 10 years old. All I have to do is put grease in it once a year. I start with the axle from a trailer. So it's good heavy duty bearings. I have another video on YouTube showing in detail how I make it and all the parts that I use. So uh, let me take you around down to the, to the business end of it. This is the blade. It's a 10 blades. It's also a 22 inch diameter. I'll try to spin it with my foot here and kind of see. I've got the water shut off to it right now. I cut them out and hand formed, forged them myself. And you can see the pipe just simply bolts on. You can make this pipe any length. My waterfall is only three foot. I have anywhere from 500 to a thousand gallons a minute falling down through the hole. It produces around 12 amps at 30 volts, about 170 RPM. I'm going to release the, the board in front of it and uh, let you see it in work. All right, I just released the water. And you can see it spinning. I got a little white dot on there, and you can kind of see the RPMs. Uh, we're around 170. That's about as fast as I've been able to spin it with, with my setup. Again, I get 12 amps, about 30 volts. It's enough to run two refrigerators. It's very low maintenance. Here's the business end again. There's a shroud that is a little smaller at the bottom than it is at the top. That funnels the water over the blade. And I left the gap between the top of the blade and the bottom of the shroud to let limbs and pine cones and fish and turtles exit it without hurting anything. Very low maintenance, there's no gears, no chains, no pulleys, real simple direct drive. The only way to accomplish this is with a large generator. Thanks for watching.